Hey everybody, look, we're all in the same room at the same time. Try not to get any brain on anything because your head's gonna explode. We are about to respond to your questions and comments. Hey guys, uh, welcome to D News. I'm Anthony. I'm Lacey. I'm Trace. And yes, we are all in the same place, which doesn't happen very often. And uh, a lot of you had questions Here. about Weird. that. Uh, you had questions about whether we had actually met in person and how did we all meet. Uh, we have now. Great yeah. to meet you. It's really nice to meet you. No, the reason you don't we see us before. all in the same place is uh, Trace works from the Discovery home office. Right, out in D.C., so I just visit once in a while. We all met through the show, actually. We did not know each other before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were brought together by love of science. Now here we are. And also binding contracts. Right. Yeah. Love yeah. of science and binding contracts. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. You guys ready from this? From Ta -da. Sydney Bickerton. How can the sun burn when there is no CO2 in space? I think he meant O2. I think he right. Died. And so the sun doesn't actually burn anything. It's actually a nuclear fusion reaction that's happening where hydrogen and hydrogen are bumping into each other and creating helium. So that's yep. how it happens. There is an, uh, uh, they might be giant song. That will explain the whole thing to you, <laughs> and I will leave. I will leave a He's, link down below. Really explain it though. It explains it the does. Whole thing. It really? explains it, and Anthony can sing it really well I can too. Sing, so, but I can't sing it here because they might be giants. Will repel down with a subpoena. Okay, guys, what is your favorite junk food? Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos. Uh, ice cream. I will eat an entire pint of ice cream in three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. I think I could challenge you on that. Really? I, I think I could do. Two minutes. That's, we'll do a video. The on brain it. freeze challenge. <laughs> and then we'll do a video about how brain freeze works and how most humans are lactose intolerant. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sounds great. We yeah, definitely ice cream do that. is my favorite junk food as well. So good. Okay, what's the most embarrassing moment of your life? Uh, in one sentence, I was pantsed at a Super Bowl party while standing on a chair. Someone was sitting in the chair. Wow. Oh! <laughs> Okay. That's not a place you want to be. No. Yeah. No. I mean, maybe it is a place you want to be, but you don't know if the other person wants to be there. We need to communicate about that. Yeah. I had this pair of dance pants that I loved. I wore them to death, literally to death. This one time I was um, dancing in them and they just split. Right, right down the center. Mm. So, wow. yay everyone, Lacey's Ooh. butt, check it out. Was this in class or in a performance? It was in class. It was in class. Okay. So Oof. I had to see them again. So there was this time in junior high, uh, super dorky kid, uncoordinated, uh, running for the bus, and like two really cool dudes who kind of like made fun of me a little bit got onto the bus. Uh, and as I'm running to the bus, I like trip over my own feet and I kind of do like a full flip in the air, hit the ground, books go everywhere, stuff goes flying oh. everywhere. And I'm just like, God, that was so embarrassing, but that's okay. It's like, whatever. and then I look up and the bus is waiting for me. Every second feels like an hour. Every right? second, yeah, it was all in slow-mo. Wow. <laughs> so we've had a number of comments on our animal-related videos. They're talking about you know, being inhumane, sending animals into space, using animals for testing. And we want to start off, firstly, we are not necessarily advocating for poking and prodding animals, but it is kind of a necessary evil at times. Dude, I gotta say that the saddest picture I've ever seen in my life is that little Iranian monkey, like in, like strapped to that board Ooh. and like all the insulation to go into space. Yeah, oh, that's oh. really bad. But sometimes you can't, you can't get around it. Arn 121 actually said, all in all, testing on animals is primitive. We just lack all the scientific knowledge necessary to perform experiments using only computer simulations, yeah. which we've actually done a couple of videos on as well. Right. There's definitely more technology coming out that's using computers instead of animals. We just haven't gotten fully there yet. Oh my goodness, this has been a big one. <laughs> uh, metric versus standard versus imperial measurements. Uh, hit and run three thousand said, please use the metric system and kilograms. You've got an international audience as well. Uh, we are not insensitive to the fact that we have an inter international audience. That's not it at all. We're yeah. all U.S. hosts. That's just kind of how we it's think. Just, yeah, yeah, but the I... fact is we are Americans and most of our audience is American. And while I yeah. wish, like honestly, when I was studying science, it would have been so much easier to have learned metric because that's what everyone else uses, but right. we just don't here. Three quarters of the people watching the videos are American. I gotta say, based on my experience, people who have the metric system in their head can convert to standard so much faster than we Very can convert much. to metric. Right. So, you guys, are, it's because you're smarter. I think we should just start using a third party system for everything. Instead of, you know, picking up me meters or feet or whatever, why don't we just use uh, horse lengths? 
Sure. Rods. Why, why Hands of the king. That? Yeah. It's amazing. The mother cow index. There which we go. is real. Look it up. Yeah. It's a real <laughs> For thing. For area? For area. Wow. That's how many mother cows can, can fit, fit in this space. Yeah. Can yep. How space. about um, mouthfuls? Mouthfuls? The volume, just yeah. like how many mouths full of that liquid volume. is it? That's a lot. I like that Do one. Do we test it first? Yeah. And then guess what? Everyone gets equally pissed off, equally confused. Uh, Equal start, opportunity. Also starting next week, uh, we're going to do all of our videos in the international language of Esperanto, or Klingon. Pig Latin. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so there you go. That'll just about do it, guys. We we love how much you guys comment we do. And, and, and talk back to us and everything. I, I feel like we have got like one of the best, most involved yeah. audiences You guys are ever. amazing. Yeah. We appreciate your feedback. We appreciate your thoughts. So please keep leaving them. Please keep watching and keeping in touch with us. We love it. Yep. And if you have any suggestions for future topics, make sure that you let us know. We've, we're on Twitter. We're on Google+. We're on Facebook. You can find us all over. We are, like, we are everywhere. Yeah, we are behind you right now. Friendster. <laughs> We have uh, pneumatic mail tubes from the 50s where you can just thunk yes. your suggestions oh, those to are us. Awesome. All right, guys, so if you have any suggestions for future topics, you can leave those in the comments or, yeah, like we said, we're, we're everywhere, creepily. Bebo. So check it out. MySpace. Orchid. We're only on the old MySpace. We're not actually on MySpace. That's a good suit. You know, old, old MySpace is underrated. Is it it's, still around? It's, it's <laughs> not really, though. No, Let's it's not. be honest. Unless I'm looking up emo music, then that's the first stop. It's true. First stop. Become a big emo. emo music site. Yeah. What do you mean become? <laughs> <laughs>